Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 105 of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. So let's get started with CT Bricks. ASA, with Halloween coming up, what is your favorite thing to do while celebrating Halloween, if you celebrate it at all? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes, my dude. I don't do a whole lot to celebrate Halloween, even though I do love Halloween. Like, I changed my background walls on my phone. I like to listen to some Halloween music. One of my favorite albums from Gooseworks is actually the Spooksworks album, which is always good fun to listen to year-round, but especially like in October around Halloween, you know. He needs margarine! But I do like to hand out candy. That's always good fun. My neighborhood actually gets quite a good bit of kids, so it's fun to hand out some candy. But this year, I'm not actually going to be celebrating Halloween because it's on a Tuesday, and Tuesday is one of the days that I go to church. But so I'm not going to miss church for Halloween, even though Halloween's good fun. I'll be able to celebrate next year. It's a little confusing talking about this, though, because technically Halloween was yesterday. But when I'm recording this video, it's not for like three more days. So that's kind of funny. It gets confusing making videos. I tell ya. But I do like Halloween. I like handing out candy and all that stuff. I'm just, I'm gonna miss it this year, but next year I'll celebrate it and that'll be fun. Next question is from Scott Daves and he says, ASA, what is your favorite Halloween candy or candies? And then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. Man, candy is so good. Like, I'm an adult and I still love candy to this day. Like, candy is great. Candy. Obviously, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are amazing because, like, who doesn't like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? That actually is probably my favorite candy. I go back and forth between saying Twix and Reese's are my favorite, but right now, Reese's is my favorite candy. I love Tootsie Rolls, Tootsie Pops, Dots. So basically, those giant bags of candy, those are usually what I buy and hand out. So I usually steal a couple bits of candy while I'm handing it out, you know, like you do. Especially the blue Tootsie Pops, or I guess they're actually grape. Like, oh, I love the grape. Those are so good. To be fair, I'm like, I pretty much like all Halloween candy. It's just like some are obviously better than others. The only thing I don't really care for is candy corns. I've never been a huge fan of candy corns, but is that even considered a Halloween candy? I kind of think of that more as just like a fall candy, you know? Ew. Next question is from Bookman, and he says, ASA, do you think that The Mandalorian Season 4 will be good? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I mean, I don't think it's going to be bad, but I don't know if it'll be, like, amazing. Like, Mandalorian Season 3 was alright to me. I think Season 4 could be cool because it's going to be probably a little bit different now that, like, the arc with, like, Moff Gideon and stuff is, like, officially over. We'll see what happens next. I'll obviously watch it regardless if it's horrible. You know, I finished the book of Boba Fett, even though I didn't like that. What is wrong with you people? Afraid to look ugliness in the face? Well, here! Look at it! It's ugly, isn't it? Next question is from E.K. Starlord, and he says, ASA, what do you expect to see in Ahsoka Season 2 if we ever get one? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm assuming we'll get a Season 2. If not, I'm pretty sure Dave Filoni's making a movie, so it might be like the movie might be finishing that. But obviously, I'm expecting to see a lot of epic stuff. You know, Thrawn's back in the main galaxy now. He's going to meet up with the other Imperial Warlords, and they're going to have one last hurrah, if you will against the what's now called the new republic obviously we know how that's going to turn out because like you know the empire does obviously die but it'll be cool to see what happens and then like balen skull you know he's still on that that planet in the other galaxy looking for whatever that like hidden power is or whatever so that's kind of cool <laughs> When he's standing on top of those statues, those are the ones or whatever they're called, like from the Clone Wars, you know, the father and the son and the daughter, which represent like the force. And it's like, well, whatever happened to the mother? Maybe the mother's this like chaotic evil or something. And that's what Balin's going to find. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, those are just speculations, but I think that's kind of what they're leading towards. I do think we'll see a lot of cool stuff. You know, it'd be kind of fun to see like if Ahsoka and Sabine can get off of that planet and back to the main galaxy because if not that would explain why they're not in the sequel trilogy i'm excited for the possibility of a season two or that movie because i loved ahsoka so i'm like we need to see what happens next yes that is true 
Next question is from Miss Malewis3. I probably, in fact, I guarantee you I said that wrong, so I do apologize for butchering your name. But anyways, ASA, are you excited for the Ray movie? I probably won't be unless they fix the character and then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I'm still a Star Wars fan. Like, I don't hate the sequels. I just strongly dislike them, right? Like, there's still parts of the sequels that I do like. I don't think Ray's the worst Star Wars character ever made, but I definitely don't think she's the best. To get a movie off of her is kind of weird, but, you know, you know it's gonna happen and they're gonna continue making movies, so why not go see them? Hopefully they can fix them and make them better. So I'm like, I'll give the movie a try when it comes out, but I'm definitely not excited for it. Like, I'm not going around telling all my friends and all that, like, hey, did you hear about the Ray movie? And, like, when the trailers come out, I'm not gonna be, like, the very first person watching it and clicking the like button and commenting, this looks epic, I can't wait, you know. It might be cool, but I'm not excited for it. Does that answer the question? I don't know. I think it does. And our last question is from Plurpus. ASA, have you ever tried potato cakes? I don't know what that is, if that's even a thing, but give me one. That sounds amazing. But would it be like a cake, like with frosting? I should probably Google this, but I didn't. Literally, as soon as I sat down to start recording this video, Plurpus question popped up and it was like, wow, that's cutting it close. I didn't have any time to research this or anything, but I guess I could have, you know, paused the video and did that, but I didn't. But potato cakes, that actually sounds really good. I have had potato rolls, which probably ruins your next question if I had to guess, but potato rolls, you know, for like sandwiches or burgers or something are so good. So if it's like that, then sign me up. I want one. I did use an image to tell people it was my birthday on Instagram this year where I took a potato and put some candles in it. So is that a potato cake? Because if so, I already did it. Did you win? Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your wonderful questions. I appreciate each and every one of you, even just for watching. Like, thank you so much. If you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below. I'll pin my favorite to the top, which means you get to go first. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.